a LS9 supercharged 638 horsepower. Uh, car sticker for 124,000 back in 2011, which. <laughs>
for, for any stretch, that's for sure. 604 pounds of torque, four wheel independent suspension, also has four wheel disc brakes, six pistons in the front, four pistons in the rear. Nice blue calipers on this to really go with the Jetstream blue. Uh, really a big fan of, of the blue calipers. Also has the, the painted headlights in the front as uh, you guys will see here with the Jetstream blue. Dual mode, four inch exhaust tips. Does have a, a nice sound for it and there's a mild to wild switch for uh, you to kind of choose or select as you're riding. It kind of happens instantly for you, which is a nice little feature. Also has magne magnetic uh, ride control. The car is 3,300 pounds, so obviously not that um, heavy, especially you know with, with the supercharger, so it is going to move, which it does at a zero to 60 um, of 3.4 seconds and a top end speed of 205 miles an hour. Sits, like I said, the chrome wheels on this is a $2,000 option. You have 19s in the front, 20s in the back, and these, you know, ZR1 wheels, I love them, always did, especially the chrome. I think they're super sharp on this car. As we mentioned a little bit earlier, there were two versions, uh, the 1ZR or the 3ZR option. 3ZR is what this is equipped with, and that was a $10,000 upgrade and option uh, which is again consistent with what they are now in 2019 NEV 3 ZRs in 2019 was a ten thousand dollar upgrade this also has carbon fiber fenders floors panels and hood and also the visible carbon fiber roof as well there were a total of 806 ZR ones made in 2011 so really not a, a high production car at the time. Of those 806, 89 total were done in Jetstream Blue and that is also including Z06s. So only 89 um, Z06s combined with ZR1s were done in the Jetstream Blue which is a highly desirable color right now. Uh, one just went through Mecham Auction if you guys had a chance to see that and the total cost for that car with fees were, was over a hundred thousand dollars this particular car in 2011 is one of 61 Jetstream blue ZR ones so of those 89 61 are ZO1 ZR ones 28 of those were Z06s sticker like we said was 124,900 with the base price of 109,800 and the options were about 14,000 and it's you know getting harder and harder to find really nice ZR ones that were you know well maintained, taken care of. You see a lot of them now with uh, you know tens of thousands of miles, and they're still um, you know doing good money for for those cars because the C7s have just taken such a jump where the C6s are following behind. If you can't um, afford a C7, the next best car for for many, in, in their opinion, if you want a ZR1 is uh, definitely the C6 and you've seen that in the last year or two um, these cars definitely take a jump you very rarely see them uh, with, with under you know 10,000 miles on them now because you know guys bought them they drove them they enjoyed them and they're still you know asking uh, good money for those and to find a Jetstream blue well-maintained two owner ZR1 um, such as this with you know the window sticker paperwork two sets of keys it's uh, really getting hard to find, like I said. And we definitely got lucky on this car. We love it. You know, like I said, it was either this color or Inferno Orange were my top two. But when you start to look for cars that are well maintained, low miles, most of the time it's very hard and difficult to find the color you're looking for. And you know, we stumbled upon this, and uh, super excited, super happy to have our first C6 ZR1 to go with some of our other C7 ZR1s. Uh, we'd like to do a little comparison video here in time, comparing this to the C6 and the Z, uh, C7 ZR1s together. And it's uh, a little crazy that we've had so many C7 ZR1s and this is our first C6 ZR1. We've tried to buy a few in the past. We were at a couple auctions, I know in years past, trying to buy them and uh, just didn't work out. So we're uh, really happy to have this one represent it and hopefully it goes to a new, new home, which I'm sure it will. 
and I don't think it's really going to last long with, uh, like I said, the options it has, the color, and the quality of the car is as nice as uh, you'll find in a C6 ZR1.